College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Offense getting set for first down. Scanning the field, it's Orgy. He's got the back in the middle. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. How about this running back's ability to get into a pass pattern and get into one downfield? Yeah, I like it, and I like the offensive coordinator continuing to work the running back in the passing game. Do more of this, it's easy. It's not, it's not hard routes, it's not things I have to read, it's matchups and what I find when my guy's better than yours and how I take advantage of it. Ball is at the 35, it's first and 10. He's looking to throw it, coming after it. And they got him for the sack. I love playing man coverage on the back end, getting those receivers' faces. You don't let them feel comfortable and, and run zone where they can find all these holes in the zone and my rush can't get home. Pressure them, pressure them, pressure them. On second down, he's looking downfield. He'll pull it down. At the 40, there he goes! And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. And the Wolverines are marching down the field. Going up top on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Moore. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Well, that's a really nice job surveying the field and delivering an accurate throw. You know, when I think back to Michigan quarterbacks, I think of guys like Elvis Gerber or Tom Brady, Jim Harbaugh, Brian Greasy, guys that could hurt you throwing the ball from the pocket, surveying the field, reading defenses, and making quick decisions. This guy has the ability to do all of those things. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. He can't make the connection, it'll be incomplete. He can scramble, but couldn't create anything there. There's an example of what happens when the quarterback doesn't have a chance to set his feet. The pressure just forced him to have to work off schedule a little bit. I think because of that, he wasn't able to be as accurate as he wanted to be. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. And how about that? A lot of coaches talk about being aggressive, and we're going to take shots, but then they get conservative in the game. But first drive, coming out, showing this defense we are not afraid to throw the ball deep. Might keep that defense a little bit more conservative. He looks that one in nicely. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. 
Trying to punch it in. And he is stopped, not getting close to the end zone. Line of scrimmage still at the three. And they'll try it again after getting nothing on second down. It's third and goal from the three. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Wolverines. Well, your opponent can't beat you if you don't give them the football. And they were able to possess it throughout the entire first quarter. And they finally cap it off with that impressive rushing touchdown. And the extra point is good. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's white. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The offense set for a first down play. Trying to get the corner. Strong run to get it out to the 21-yard line. A pickup of six. The Volunteers will hustle for the line. They'll try to get the edge with the toss play here. At the 35, he's got room. The expressway is wide open. He's at the 10. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, ball! Love the play call offensively. They knew the defense were crowding a lot of bodies close to the line of scrimmage. And once they were able to get into the second level, all they had to do was make one guy miss and get one good angle. And with the speed that ball carrier has, man, that thing was a sure shot touchdown. And the extra point was good. And that extra point was good. And we're all tied up here in the second. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Wants to throw. It's Orgy. Fires to the big fella. Still running at the 40. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Let's go. Fresh set of downs after the completion. To the air on first down. Quarterback on the move, still looking. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. No gain on first down after the incompletion. Now second and 10 from the 40. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Floating away. He'll pull it down and run. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end, nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this game. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. Quarterback will audible. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. And the quarterback just ran out of time there, and they were able to knock it free. Quarterbacks have got to do a great job keeping two hands on the football, especially in passing situations like that, because you know defenders are swatting at the ball. Even if you can't see them, 
these guys, they're 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, they've got long arms. They're trying to rip and tug away and get that ball out of your hands. The QB will learn from this play. He's got to do a better job of this fundamental. They built this offense around finding mismatches and just get the ball to the back and let him do his thing. Yeah, it didn't have to be long down the field. Like it threw it right near the line of scrimmage. But you know I got a guy, when he gets in space, he can make big plays happen. Nice decision by the QB. He's got the tight end. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got his first end goal. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route run. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots in zones. You've got to get him involved. Free snap motion in the backfield. Back to throw. It's Iamaleava. He makes the catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. He'll call for the fair catch here. Here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. He's looking for a man on second down. In the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Well, I love the job by the coaching staff there defensively, matching the personnel of the offense, putting their dime package out on the field. So you bring out the extra defensive back, you're anticipating a pass, perfect timing to run that personnel, and you get the pick. First down here for the offense. Just gonna keep it after the snap. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. The ball's in the hurry up. Back to pass, it's Iamaleava. Takes the easy completion. At the 40, there he goes! He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They'll throw it on first down. Snares it outside, it's McCoy. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Volunteers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Caught behind the line, it's Sampson. They'll use a timeout right before halftime, maybe time for one or two more plays. Just enough time for one final play in this half. He wants to pass it on second down. Looking for the score! And makes the grab in the end zone! Touchdown, Volunteer! They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. A rather inauspicious start with the kickoff out of bounds and great field position for this offense. One more play before the teams head to the locker rooms. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Comes out throwing on first down. Blasted as he lets it go. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. Wolverines will kick it off to start the second half. Coming out with it, it's White. 
He stopped shorter than 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. Looking for a productive play on first down. Wide out in motion. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the third. And a little more space open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. There's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. Still running at the 40. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. Well, they get another big run for a first down, and if you're on offense, you love the way your offensive line is blocking early in this game. They're getting tremendous movement, and they're making life pretty easy for these running backs right here. Using his legs, it's Sampson. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position, it's second in inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. They'll try to pop the draw. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. The give to the back. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. Man, is he having a day for the big orange already over 150 yards. And showing you a little bit of everything, Reese. I mean, he can break tackles. He can make you miss. He's doing it all for this offense, and I would continue to feed him, and I guarantee you the Orange fans are going nuts. Gets it out fast. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw, catch and run on that one. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. And he'll be stopped for no gain, still sitting at the three-yard line. And the ball's headed quickly to the line. On second and goal, they go right back to him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. After this long of a drive, you have to cap it off with a touchdown, and here comes third and goal. Now the play fake. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. And the defense has it. Everybody reverse skate. Inside the 40. The 40. Inside the 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Michigan. And the defense doing work. And the defense comes with the blitz. Nice job getting to the quarterback. And don't just get there. Try to strip that football out. They get the QB to the ground. The ball's out. They scoop it up. Take it all the way back to the house for six. And the extra point is good. They're out there to kick it off. The return team must rivet that ball to their rib cage. Can't afford another turnover. Fielded in the end zone, it's White. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. This should be the last play of the quarter. This is a designed run. And they get him on the ground, and that'll probably do it for the third quarter. That's the end of the third quarter with the score, Tennessee. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. 
Back to throw. It's Iamaleava. Flips it out to the back. He's right there to stop him, but the quick throw and catch enough to give them the first down. New set of downs after that completion. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the back. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing line. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. On second down, he'll let it fly. Got it behind the line. It's Sampson. And they pick up just a few on that completion. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring him for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like that, you're going to need some more blocking and better blocking downfield. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tackle. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Nice job executing the four-minute offense. You know, they practiced this throughout the week, having a lead late in the game, running plays to just get enough to get first downs to stay on the field, and they are executing this four-minute offense to perfection. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Looking to move it through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Matthews. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. He's going to pass. Unloads to the right. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Man, this quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, no doubt. It's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute game. The Volunteers want to pick up the tempo. Looking downfield, it's Iamaleava. They're working that left side. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Shoots it to the left. Makes a connection. Tight coverage there. Did not stop him from making the grab. It's first and goal from the eight. And the defense in desperation mode trying to hang on to give their team a chance. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, ball. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. They marked 78 yards down the field, and it was capped off with the eight-yard run. Bounces through the end zone. It's a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. They'll get it to the 48, no need to measure it to first down. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. He wants to throw. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And it just doesn't get more dominant than that. One on one, me versus you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Gonna take a shot. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, we've got a chance at a finish. 
if we had any chance to make this happen, we had to score with a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. And the extra point was good as they finished the drive. Trailing by a touchdown here in the fourth, they'll try to get it back with the onside kick. They're on it, and they get it back for another drive. And this is why you keep fighting. You just got your score on offense. Now you needed a miracle to come through with the onside kick so you can get one more possession to maybe go win this football game. Nice execution. And guess what? There's still time left on the clock. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. The defender was right there. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Starts to scramble to the left. At the 40, there he goes! And he'll get out of bounds. It's a first down there in plus territory and now threatening to get the score. This offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. Looking to pass. It's Orgy. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. And guys, if they can somehow, some way, find their way into the end zone, we'll have a tie game in the fourth. Snap in the shotgun. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Wolverines. How about the offense in that situation to come up so big? The place is going bananas. It's so hard to hear. It's so hard to execute. And you just put six on the board and have a chance to kick this PAT and tie the game. And they'll try to win it right here with the two-point conversion. And this crowd is electric trying to stop them. He is in there. The two-point conversion gives them the lead. And what lower intestinal fortitude to go for it there. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Looking to go up top on first down. Caught over the middle. It's White. The timeout stops the clock with 10 seconds to play. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. They'll throw it on first down. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. He's going up top here late in the game. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Well, you know the defense felt freaked out on that one. You're in the fourth quarter, and you're lined up against one of the fastest players in all of college football, and they're taking a shot up top. You just hold on tight and hope for the best, and that time they were able to force an incompletion. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. Last pass falls incomplete, and that's going to do it. You want to talk about building confidence, coming through with clutch plays, making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season. Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters. And this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps, they've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big time plays. And I think belief is what you build. That confidence, you know you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win. You know you're going to make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week to week.